Oh, jeez. All right, I need to uh, get some more pumpkins. What's going on guys, Sharpshaw here. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. So for today's video, we're gonna be doing episode two of our Monster Crown Let's Play series. So if you haven't watched episode one, uh, just a quick recap, you should definitely go watch it though and leave a like on it. But anyways, so what we did in episode one is that we got our new monster, Alan the Ambigu right here. And uh, we just got to know the backstory of Monster Crown. So yeah, let's just get right into episode two, where we're on our way to deliver something for dad right here. Oh, a gangster. Okay. Man, those thugs have nothing on us. We own these streets. They ain't got no class, neither bumming around like they do. Those guys are out for themselves. We help the little people. And what do we get? Fine cigars, a soft bed, and all the luxuries of life. That's real. Charity right there. You think the boss isn't good with one of the kings for stuff like this? He's gotta be, ain't no one got a squeaky clean image like the kings do without it. Uh oh, I got caught. Oh crap, he knows what we heard. Okay. <laughs> they all just left. All right, what what did I see? Let's see. Damn it. The guys weren't kidding about swimming across. I can't swim and I sure as hell ain't gonna try. Say, kid. If you take care of that blub up on the bridge there, I'll give you what we were looking for in the first place. Oh, jeez. All right. I need to uh, get some more pumpkins. We got the two monsters back to full health, so let's go fight the, the boss on the bridge. Walrus, burr burr, ah, what? <laughs> all right, all right, our first boss battle, I guess. Enemy walrus, it's a river boss, all right. All right, 176 is uh, how much health he has. So, uh, all right, none of these do any, okay, none of these counter, but that's okay. Oh geez, he's doing a lot of damage too. All right, I'm gonna have to do these strategically. All right, Ambigu is defeated. That's not too bad, not too bad. Right, we still got the Harvest skin, let's go. Oops, let's see if I can uh, offer him a pact. Oh, he accepted, let's go. He's part of our team now. Sick. And he's a boss, so that's cool. Gangster, thanks kid. You're a real peach. I doubt the boss is going to care much for this thing. It only contains a map and some unintelligible scribbles about monsters. Nothing but garbage, but it's your garbage now, bub. Now nah, I've got a split. Got the notebook. Alright, let's see what we got. Oh, we got a notebook up here. Oh, alright, so it tells us what beats what. Gives us a quest log. Oh, it gives us a huge map, too. Oh, that's cool. Uh, and it gives us a Pokédex, kinda, yeah. Alright, so the, to the Humanism Kingdom we go. Why is it red over here? Oh, what's this? Found a normal pack. Oh, cool, you can grab normal packs. That's cool, I didn't know. Alright, what's this guy? It's the harmless monster, Apo. Stay safe, Apo. Alright, that's cool. <laughs> Stay safe, Apo. Notice, welcome to Milltown, home of the Duke Cave. Okay, after many turns, I ended up replenishing his full health, so now I'm gonna offer it a pact. Because I want this guy on my team. Because I don't, I've never seen him before. Hey, he accepted, let's go. Alright, let's check this guy out. What is he? So we got Ambigu, Harvestkin, Walrus, and... Wait, this guy doesn't even have a name? What is he? Welcome to Milltown. Oh, it's snowing. Oh, snowing. It's raining. Let's stop at Milltown and see what, uh, what's going on here. Oh, yeah, Dad, he said to call him. Yeah, I remember. I forgot about that. Hey, kiddo, is that you? You made it there without trouble? What, gangsters? They, sw they swam across the river? Well, I guess so long as you didn't have to deal with them, huh? Well, thanks for checking in. I'll let you go for now, but call me every once in a while, okay? Good luck. 
Let's go in the house and see what's going on here. What does this guy have to say? Ah, what an exciting time, kid. This will put Windy Province on the map. Well, bigger on the map at least. All right, we're going house to house. Welcome to the barge. Proud to serve the needs of common folk and tamer alike, continent wide. Wait, you don't even have a pack? Well, of course, every tamer needs one. You know, I've never met a tamer so young before. We'll make a deal. You make the barge your number one stop for packs, and I'll hook you up with a fine Glutovi leather pack free of charge. Now keep in mind, it's a rough world out there. You'll lose everything in your pack if you get taken out by a monster, so be sure to store any valuables in the mini bank over on your left. On the phone, there's just outside the doorway. I already called him. Oh, well, we got an item bank now, which is pretty cool, but I don't really have any precious things. Hmm, interesting. What can we buy? A normal pack for 10, LLE for 10. Oh, that's it. Oh. That's cool. Hey, I can't wait to get to work. Those mines are going to make me some real cash. I'll finally make a name for myself. Okay. Oh, hi there. Any advice for a guy hopelessly in love? Simp! Milltown's really pretty. I'll rate it a 7 out of 10. Are you one of those prospectors? No, you're too young. This town is in the middle of starting up a mining operation. Pretty exciting. Alright, so I feel like the theme of Milltown is there's like some mining, mining thing. So I feel like I'm going to have to like, I don't know, do something in the mines. Oh, Tamer, young Tamer, come on over here. Oh, am I at the kingdom? What the heck? Oh, I'm this town's healer. You look like a Tamer, but you've never heard of... Uh, no worries though, kid. This here's my Kiri. It's a special type of monster with some pretty amazing magical powers. The kings employ us to offer a healing service and gives each of us a Kiri from a private breeder. While they're, they're unsuited for combat, they can unleash a wave of powerful healing over your monsters. Oh, please give me one. I need one so bad. I hate giving pumpkins. Unfortunately, it uh, leaves her out cold for quite a while. I'd be happy to heal your monsters as would my Conraz, but to ensure only tamers that truly need to take advantage of Kiri's abilities use them, there is a cost. If that's okay by you, just give me the, world, the word and I'll get your team healed up straight away. Any Kiri's to fix game up will cost 15? How much money do I have? 300? Hmm. Let's see here. How bad is my party need? Oh, not at all. Hell no. I don't need to pay for this. What's this house? Welcome to Milltown, home of Duke Cave. Oh, I already knew that. Alright. My daughter spends far too much time with her boyfriend. Simp! I'm sorry to think they're codependent. <laughs> oh. There's a room inside of a room. I, I just wish mom would understand what difference does it make who his father is. Oh. Alright, so we got some tea. I know he's good inside. We got some Romeo and Juliet vibes going on. There's some, there's something brewing in Milltown. This person was not there before. While we all pay taxes to kingdoms and the king's regular visit to offer advice, towns are generally pretty self-run without much interference. With a great mayor, it's wonderful, but with one that can't stand up for himself, well. All right, so there's definitely something brewing in Milltown. Let me tell you that, that's all I can say. I don't really trust that guy, Jasper. He's got a silver tongue and seems to get thrilled from taking advantage of others. Yeah, everybody hates people here. Mayor! Sorry I'm not much in the mood for talking today, but uh, please, enjoy our local wares and uh, fabulous restaurants. Hmm, sus. I don't think I need to even be in Milltown. Mildew? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, hello there, young boy. At times over the past 20 years, I would take a moment to look out to sea. I could always see them watching. Those monsters just beyond the shore that appeal. Am I getting teleported? Spooky. No hope lies beyond the shore. That's what everybody says. It's only now at the end of my life that I ask myself, is it really the appeal that are watching? Oh, spooky. What the heck? Oh, what a selfish man I must be to have spent my life carefree and now burden you with troubling questions like these when you are so young. Enjoy your life, boy. It goes by much quicker than you can even imagine. All right, you just left me here with the deep, dark, deep, dark thoughts. 
Prospector, whoa there, boy. We're doing some pretty sensitive work here. This equipment is fragile. Stay back in town now. I can't afford to lose time dealing with those folks like you. Apprentice, boss, but boss, this place is absolutely loaded. We got at least 20,000 gold worth of mineral zephyr on the surface alone. Daniel, keep it down. We're trying to get a good deal on this contract. Don't go shouting something like that. Sorry, boss. Listen, kid, can you keep your mouth shut? Last thing we need is for Jasper to know about this. Everyone's out for themselves in this business. We'll be working for less than minimum wage if Jasper finds out how valuable this place really is. Here, take 100 gold and you can grab whatever's loose on the cape floor. Just stay quiet and get back to town until we're done. Dang, hush money. Oh, this guy's got something to say, maybe. The prospectors are nearly done? That's great. Jasper? What do you mean, Jasper? Why would the, they be dealing with... Oh, crap. Can you come with me? Alright. Jasper, listen, listen. It's all legal and black and white. You can't argue with the paperwork. You own the only store in town. You nickel and dime us and charge ridiculous amounts of money. You can barely afford food for our kids. You want to own the mine too? What? Jasper is going to own the mine? Dun dun dun. Of course I'm going to own the mine, you goddamn peasants. What, you're all angry because you didn't think of it first? Because you lost a good deal when I was the one fast and smart enough to get in on it before you? That's just the law of nature, you cowards. Forward thinkers, entrepreneurs, go-getters, it's people like me who rate the rewards. The mayor was going to sign it. The deed is supposed to be ours. The king himself agreed. We should all own it. We should all reap the rewards of our work. We'd finally be on the map. We'd all be wealthy. Too bad. You're all too weak to reach out and take it. And it's mine now. Don't you worry. I'll be sure to pay you at least a little something to work for me. You'll afford to feed your children. That's what you want, right? You. Annoying, nosy child. That's me. You think having a monster makes you untouchable, don't you? Ha, I'm a forward thinker. Do you really think a man like me wouldn't be prepared for trouble like you? Uh-oh. Boss fight. Tamer Jasper attacks in rage. I'm gonna pick my uh, walrus. Oh shit, that was a bad idea. Yeah, that was a bad idea, fuck. Dang, big hit for one, one HP left. Oh, what, he has more? Uh-oh. Oh sheesh, he has two more monsters. That's a problem, and yeah, I knocked one out. Chris has been defeated. Oh, what? Why, why did he switch? Oh my god. Yes, I beat them both. I thought I was screwed, I'm gonna be honest. Let's go. Damn you, d damn you, punk. Damn all of you, you're all beneath me. Just bottom feeders grasping for pennies. You'll never make it without me, villager one. You better run, Jasper. You better pray I don't catch you. You think you can own us? You think you can starve our kids? David was right about you. What that kid did to your monster, I'm gonna do to you. Oh shit. <laughs> They're all chasing after him. Oh, bye Jasper. Dad, wait. <gasps> it's Jasper. That's his dad. That's why the mother was like, oh my god, it all makes sense now. That's why the mother didn't want her daughter hanging out with him. <gasps> oh! It all comes full circle. Those monsters that guy was talking to us about, they killed him when he went out to the water. That's what he said. Oh my god. Milltown all came full circle. Alrighty guys, I'm going to end the episode off here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Episode 3 will be out soon. Leave a comment down below if you guys want shorter episodes, longer episodes. Let me know in the comments down below. But uh, yeah guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like and sharp subscribe if you're new. This has been Sharp Shot, and I will see you guys in the next video.